Good morning and welcome everybody here. I'm Todd Stottlemyre, President and CEO of the National Federation of Independent Business. And I want to welcome uh, all of you to uh, Small Business Central, if you will, to Bill and John and Andy. Uh, very much appreciate your being here at NFIB this morning. You know, over the last uh, year, I've had a chance to get to know all three of these individuals, and uh, certainly we've worked with John and the Business Roundtable for a long time, uh, but also got to know Bill and, and Andy as well. And one of the things I love about Andy, he's a kindred spirit. He doesn't like ties, and I don't like them either, but I put one on today just for these other two guys. So, um, <laughs> But it is great to be here. I was teasing Andy this morning that one of the reasons that they wanted uh, NFIB and me in particular to come in because I'm going to even the odds on the German-Italian thing going on here between Novelli and Castellani and Stern and Stottlemyre. But it really is a pleasure to be here. And um, over the past year, we have had a chance to really talk about healthcare and, and long-term financial security. And, um, and I want to thank them for inviting NFIB to participate in this coalition. And I think it really is a recognition on their part, if I can be so bold, as to say that any national debate, any serious national debate about healthcare or long-term financial security has to have America's job creators at the table and part of the coalition. And so I want to thank them for asking us to uh, pr participate uh, in this coalition. You know, if you, if you look at small business and why is NFIB here, uh, there's some good news and then there's some other news. Uh, the good news is that small business continues to be the job creator on the national economy. We create two-thirds of the net new jobs. We represent 50 percent of the gross domestic product. Uh, we are the backbone, the heart and soul, if you will, of the communities around the country. Uh, recent Gallup survey said we're the second most trusted institution in America. So a lot of good news. On the other hand, the other news is that when you look at health care, we represent the largest working uninsured part of the population. Roughly 27 million of the 46 million people who are uninsured come from small business, uh, their employees or their dependents. In addition, only about 50% of small businesses today uh, can afford to provide health insurance to their employees. And the driving factor in that is cost. And as I, we all know, that we've seen significant increase in the cost of health insurance, the cost of health care over the last uh, 15 years in particular. And, and that's the other news. And certainly long-term security is a significant issue for small businessmen and women, their employees, as well as their dependents. So I'm very pleased that, uh, that we're part of this coalition, that we're joining this coalition. I think that we have a, a really two unique opportunities. The first unique opportunity is to drive health care, access to affordable health care for all Americans, and long-term financial security to the top of the domestic political agenda. And I think we have a unique opportunity to do that. I'm very pleased to be part of the coalition. We're very pleased to be part of the coalition. The second thing is I think we have a unique opportunity to demonstrate leadership. And you all have been doing that as part of this coalition to demonstrate leadership that diverse groups like all of ours that oftentimes disagree on things can come together and start to engage on two very important national public policy issues and have discussions with one another instead of talking at one another or past one another. And I think that's the great opportunity that we can demonstrate to the American people and to our national policymakers that even if we disagree on things, we believe the greater good, the cause, of coming to a solution to deal with the uninsured today in America, which affects our national economic competitiveness, that we can come together to do this. And as Bill has, uh, Bill told me when we've spent uh, several meetings together, he said, you know, he asked me, do you have any siblings? I said, yeah. He said, did you love your siblings? I said, absolutely. He said, did you always love your siblings? I said, no, not always. Did you ever punch any of your siblings? I said, yeah, a few times. He said, well, this is kind of the band of brothers uh, that we work together in that regard. <laughs> That, uh, you know, some things we're going to agree, some things we're not, but the overall purpose of driving these two issues to the top of the national policy agenda in the presidential elections and certainly going into 2009 is a priority of this group. So on behalf of NFIB, I want to welcome all three of you. I want to thank you for your past leadership and look forward to working with you as part of this coalition.